So now we're on to the final challenge of the quality assurance course. And this one is actually very, very similar to the previous one. We're going to be using zombie again to test this, um, this one right here. We're going to be testing this page again. And this time instead of um, Colombo, we're going to be using Amerigo or whatever however you pronounce that. So what we're doing is testing that if we put Amerigo into here that all of these, uh, hang on, sorry, it should not be Amerigo, it should be Vespucci. That's the one, sorry. If we put Vespucci into here, um, all of these fields are filled out correctly. So they've already uh, visited the page um, for us. So they've visited the uh, slash page right here. So we've visited the page now. So where we need to start off with is we have to um, fill out the uh, surname field. So we want to do browser.fill here. And remember the first argument is a selector. And if we just look up here, the selector is just this surname right here. And where they got that surname from is if we look in um, index.html and we look at the form, we can see that the name here is surname. So that's the selector right there. And we want to fill this with Vespucci. So if, we, if I just paste that in here, that'll go ahead and fill this box out with Vespucci. Then we want to press the submit button. And um, in here, you can just chain it here. So you can say dot press button. And we want to press the button that has the ID or, or name of submit. And then we want to give a callback function to run some code once we get a response out of this. And the first thing we want to check is if the response was successful. So we want to say um, browser.assert.success. Then we want to check if the text in the span ID of name, which is this right here, is equal to this Amerigo. So we want to say browser dot assert dot text, and then it's going to be span with an ID of name. Once again, I pressed the wrong button. ID of name, and we want to check if this is equal to Amerigo. Okay, so the next thing we want to check is if the span with the ID of surname which is this right here is equal to Vespucci. So we want to do um, browser.assert.text and we want to check if the element with span, the span element with the ID of surname is equal to Vespucci. And the final thing we want to do is make sure that this um, um, span element with the ID of dates exists and there's one of them and that's exactly the same as what we did here so we can just copy and paste the code from here. Finally we want to make sure that we move our done function inside this callback function so it only gets executed once these tests have passed. So that should be everything uh, we need to do here so I'm just going to go ahead and try submitting that and again it was almost identical to the last one, except we had to press the button. And as you can see, that's finished now. So what this did was um, it filled out the surname field right here with the Vespucci, click the submit button, and then in the callback function, it waits for it to complete. And then it will check if it was successful. So if it returned this 200 right here, um, then it will check if the um, span element with an ID of name, which is this one has the text Amerigo, then it checks if the span element with the ID of surname, which is this one right here, has the text Vespucci. And then it checks if the span element with the ID of dates exist, and there's one of them, which is true in this case. And then if none of those throw an error, it'll call the done function to tell free code camp to mark our code. So that's the end of the um, quality assurance course. Um, I actually think it's, um, it's not that interesting, but it's actually really useful for actually testing our code and verifying that our code works correctly. So you can just submit that now and yeah that's the end of the course right there